Hey everybody, Bright to get at the Arizona Flower Market. And another centerpiece I wanted to show you is one that we have available at our market in the flower shop here is the Red Lantern. And it's a beautiful metal Red Lantern that already comes pre-greened like this with the different kinds of evergreen, pine cones, and an actual battery operated candle in the middle, which is kind of cool. You don't have to worry about lighting a candle when it's so close uh, in place like that. So it actually has a battery operated candle. A few little pine cones are tucked in here as well and some artificial berries. Um, one thing I like to do is to kind of add to this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it this way. We could tuck in just a few carnations and maybe some cushion pumps and we'd be ready to go. But if we want to really kind of dress it up a little bit and make it a little more interesting, um, we can use the shinier millimeter balls like these, which you can just take and cluster together. Or we can actually use ribbon. Um, the ribbon is really important, I think, this time of the year. This is like a candy cane stripe ribbon that we have. And I like to make just these small bows of just two loops on the side like that and a couple streamers. And these we all, um, also have just streamers with no um, loops on it as well. So I wanted to show you how we do that. Bow making um, isn't for the faint of heart, but it's not really that difficult to do. Start with your streamer like this. Make your first loop. Pinch it together between your index finger and your thumb like that. Now we've got our streamer here. Let's move him out of the way. Reverse ribbon, so we twist. Fluff it up a little bit. Make that loop close to or the same size as your first one. Looks like a bow tie kind of. But we've got the reverse ribbon again, so you twist at the joining point in between your index finger and your thumb. Gather that all together in between your index finger. Twist, same size as your second one. And you just keep going and going. You can build as big of a bow as you would like. Just make sure that you always twist Keep the pattern side or the shiny side if it's a satin ribbon. Just always keep it out and make sure your streamers are like this. I like to use covered wire. You can use a plain wire if you want, but I prefer covered. Underneath the thumb, underneath, I like to push up like this, push the loops up and just give it a nice twist here, nice and tight. And as long as you've pushed up and that wire is in there tight, then you can fluff the bows and fluff the loops as much as you want and a nice cut. Make sure your scissors are sharp and you're good to go. Very simple. We can make larger bows at another time for a wreaths um, or just if you want a bow for a package or something like that, it works very well. Um, but we do have the ribbon here available at the flower market. So stop on down and say hello and grab a bolt of ribbon. So we're gonna start with the metal lantern and I'm gonna tuck these in first because they do take up some space. That way I know exactly how many flowers I need to insert. So let's take our one candy cane ribbon and put here in the front. And it is a centerpiece, so it is all the way around. So as I say front, is what I'm looking at right now. But I am going to turn it. And we'll put the other one over here, like this. And these extra loops that I made, this is just if I don't want a ribbon on both sides, I think it might be a little bit too much. I'm just going to put the streamers in. And that's just gonna draw a ribbon all the way around the design. So this side and this side. Now some people say the centerpiece looks great this way, just with the pine cones, the ribbon, the berries, and it really does. You wouldn't even have to have floral in that. This is gonna last a long time. Again, add water daily to keep the pine fresh. Um, you can take the candle out, turn it on, and put it back underneath there. It is easy to get, you can just put it off like this. And we just turn the little button on. Like so, and we are good to go, tucking back in. Love the battery operated, and they make them so realistic now. Put them in the middle, and we're good. Let's tuck in our millimeter balls. And again, I put these on a cowie pick, just easier to insert into the foam. I like these because they have a little bit of shine to them, and our candy cane ribbon is definitely shiny and glitzy. So I wanted to put something shiny in there, so that's where the millimeter balls come in handy for that. And let's put another set right here. And that just definitely ties it together now. All right, flower time. Let's move our extra bow here. I'm going to put a couple of our white garden roses in here. It's called Romeo. We're going to tuck him in here. It's going to kind of pick up the color of our candle in the center. Still kind of nice to tie everything together. Get a nice sharp cut. Now notice I'm placing my roses kind of in a diagonal across from each other. The bows are across, the streamers are across, the millimeter um, ornaments are across, so the roses are as well. 
So we're just going to put two of those. One of my favorite, all-time favorite carnations this time of the year is the peppermint um, carnation. Love candy canes, always has, always have, even as a kid, love those. This is a peppermint carnation. Now, if the peppermint carnations or any carnation are not open very well or very much, hold it by the calyx and just fluff it open like that. Be gentle with it and just tuck those in. Some of these are already open very well. What if you want a little bit more showing? And you can add as much or as little to these as you want. You know, we're floral people, so you can never have enough. Always add. And there we are so far. My candle back in there straight. Here we go. Now we are going to put just a few little red miniature carnations in here. Let's start bringing it up just a little bit higher. Right now all of our flowers and greens are down low, so let's bring it up a little bit. The red card and red miniature carnations are just small enough that you can. You don't want a heavy bulky flower up here. So if you just do the miniature carnations like these, that's just enough to kind of get your eye up a little bit more. You're going to notice too there's a lot of evergreen in there. You have to be kind of careful when you're putting your stems in. You don't want to break them. So just kind of take your time and feed those through. And then you'll feel when it hits the foam. Just make sure they're in deep enough in the foam to drink water. And again, I think I mentioned earlier, always add water daily to your arrangements just to keep everything fresh. And just a couple of little white cushion pumps. And our Christmas centerpiece is going to be great to go to grandma's house, to a friend's house, or just for your own house to enjoy. They also make a cushion pump called Snowflake, but I like, I like the white cushion, just a little bit more of a white color. Uh, sometimes our snowflake pumps almost have a little yellowish cast to them. I like the traditional cushion pump. So you can keep going and do as much as you want. You don't want to overdo it. You want to be able to see the container, to see the lantern, and to see each individual flower. And I still like to use the buds too. And there you have a Christmas lantern centerpiece with ribbons, millimeter balls, and a battery operated candle in the center. Great for any Christmas party or just for your own home. Again, this is Brent at the Arizona Flower Market. Stop in and say hi, we're all here to help, and we'll get your party started with the beautiful flowers and product here at the market. Thanks, have a great day.